Hello, today we're doing Xfinity at Daytona. All right, so not a huge fan of super speedways, but uh, we've got the trucks, we've got Xfinity and the Cup Series going to Daytona this week because that's where they are in real life. So not too many options uh, of the series that I like to run. So here we are. Um, super speedways always feel kind of like a, uh, a lottery to me, you know. Do you avoid the wreck? And uh, I guess do you hold your line? Not too much to it, it's, it feels like, but uh, I don't want to complain too much. We're going to make the best of it. Um, I'm number 22 of 26. That's good news because I will not be qualifying. I'm going to be taking it easy for the uh, majority of the race. And at this point, because of others that have uh, qualified, I will be starting and last which is what I wanted so I'm gonna leave some space there's no way to make make it through this whole race without wrecking I just don't see it happening even if it does seem to be a strong field so uh, hopefully I can avoid it I don't know it's a delicate balance to try to keep uh, keep up with the draft but also not be close enough to end up in the wreck so who knows if I even want to stay in the draft so long as I don't get lapped I don't know I, I don't particularly enjoy these races but I guess I'll do what I have to do, hopefully, we'll see what happens. And again, I'm ranked 22nd, so if I can finish above 22nd, then, you know, technically I overachieved, so hopefully do, I want to do better than that, but we'll see. <clears throat> Still trying to figure out the audio uh, on my videos here, I'm trying something a little different. I don't, uh, I don't use headphones when I race, so we get some audio pollution with my speakers and stuff, and it makes the audio not so great, echoey and all that. But uh, I just don't feel comfortable driving with headphones on. It's just not how I'm used to. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry. My, uh, my videos aren't very good, I guess. But that's fine. Just, uh, I like just in archiving my races. It's kind of nice. So, hopefully there'll be something worth watching here. Uh, 30 laps. <clears throat> Should be plenty of time for things to happen. Um, what else? Been dealing with some anxiety re uh, recently, so I haven't raced very much. I hope to get a an ARCA race done this week at some point to get, uh, you know, try to keep my spot in the championships, which... This is the second split, right? We'll see. Second split, I don't know about that. Uh, I have very close. I mean, one car is 700, so it's possible. Second split? Interesting. Of course, the super speedways get super huge engagement. Everyone loves to race them. Everyone has a chance to win at any given race. So, lots of people love that. Plus, people just enjoy it, typically. <clears throat> so, got someone to our inside. And no one behind us. doing we can't hit the gas pedal I guess here we go <sighs> speed doesn't matter when you're first leaving the pits I don't check for speed limit there I'm speaking as if people watching have no experience with this but I don't know who's watching anyway so Standing outside, but probably gonna hang back a little bit. I hope people can hold it together, but I'll try to be ready in case they're not. Okay, hit the brakes. Just gonna do a second gear start. I don't think first gear's a thing anyway. Maybe. Probably not though. <clears throat> Feeling a little rusty. I haven't raced in a while, like I said, so hopefully I don't make any dumb mistakes. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. Hopefully the changes I made make it somewhat bearable. We'll see. Else 
house taking it kind of easy, I guess, at the start. And I'll find my way down here. like that can end up in a dangerous situation depending on when they decide to merge back in. I understand it, that's why I'm back here. They better hope they don't fall off the draft though. Let's get back to the bottom. Which is where I feel most comfortable. But uh, my eyes are going to be on the cars ahead. Watching for any potential big ones. Or even small ones I can find myself into. Make it a big one, I guess. too far back. When you have a chance this does go green, you don't want to be the guy putting around in 25th, six seconds back off the, off the draft. That's why it's such a delicate balance to try to find, put yourself into a safe spot without taking yourself out of contention. Alright, that guy's blinking, gave me a heart attack. As if the stress wasn't enough already, you got pretend cars crashing in front of you. <clears throat> so far so good, everyone... Oh, oh, why did I say anything? The guy's on the apron, so I can't really lift too much. It might not bring out a caution. Looks like we're fine. Oh, this blinking guy. Hope he's not the reason that we lose the draft because people are checking up because they're scared of him. <clears throat> so far everyone seems reasonably patient. No, I gotta keep my distance. And then I'll complain that they got down for no one can see them. Or is this the guy? No, I don't think it's the guy. That, uh, or no, this is the guy that was blinking. I think they thought that it was the guy that wrecked yeah, was the blinker. But nope, that's, uh, that's the blinker. He's right here. No one wants to use their blinkers in real life when you're driving, but plenty of blinking going on. And I racing. I need to switch those two. More blinking and uh, real driving, less blinking and eye racing. Sounds like a good deal to me. Come on down, Mr. As usual, chat's being gross. Ah, uh, he's gone. All right. I need him to just disconnect. I just need him to disappear long enough for the game to kick him out. Although on the bright side, I get to see what's happening in front of him when he blinks out. Here, 
I'm not uh, in a hurry to get anywhere right now anyway, so. They're racing too wide up there, so I'm keeping my eye on that. Everyone seems to be able to... Couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. Oh, hello. Ryan Vargas, actual driver. Thankfully, that was a 0x. Gotta hey, let some people by. I couldn't see what's happening. I could have braked a little more. I feel bad about it. Alright, gonna come into pit, fix whatever damage I have. I don't think it's too bad, but uh. Chalk up my uh, failure of braking to rustiness. Should have hit it a little harder. I'm glad I didn't run into anyone too bad. Just a, just a little bit of side damage from what in the hell top of the guy. Oh, my uh, crew chief's off. I'm used to having a crew chief count me down. Forgot I didn't turn that on. Oh well. Not trying uh, for a quick pit stop anyway. Can't turn it on right now either. Oh well. I'll just have to remember that if I come back in. Oh, oh, four and a half minutes. Okay. Some contenders are uh, seemingly out of contention here. Oh, yeah, two and a half. And I got hit by every car, I think. Okay, I'm oh, just... Embarrassing that I wasn't able to slow down more, but. What are you gonna do? Lots of damaged cars, it looks like. I didn't even see Ryan Vargas in the grass there. I would have been in my room. I should have been paying more attention. I was thinking about uh, what just transpired. Not really, uh, not really thinking completely clearly lately. So probably it'll be better if I was 100% sharp. But uh, I figured uh, Daytona is probably one of the places I can get away with just kind of riding. As usual, there's gonna be people arguing. Always people mad at each other. Why does it say every car around me is a lot down? Am I missing something? Like they're uh, a lap down. I don't know what that. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it'll fix itself when I cross the line. Yeah, there it goes. There. I got some people behind me who might be trying to go right away, so can't really hang back too much. Probably try to keep uh, 
track position at this point as much as I don't want to. About halfway through the race. Probably due for one more wreck, one or two, depending on how uh, how well we get going here. Got the damage fixed though, and I don't think it was much anyway. Especially at uh, Daytona, where you just get yourself in the draft, so. Pushing in the front. I'm starting to remember I don't like super speedway racing. Okay. We're alive. That guy's been blind. There's no caution. Uh, this could be interesting if they don't wreck again. I had the brakes that time. Still almost wasn't enough, but uh, I didn't run into the guy in front of me. That's progress. Oh, Jesus Christ. Saved it. Number 4X. Remember what I said about this being a good group of drivers? I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm angry too. <laughs> hey, look, we're in fourth. I didn't. I didn't do anything. People love this though. I don't get it, but they love it. I uh, I got a little bit of damage probably. I don't know if I want to pit. I kind of don't want to be behind more Rex. I think about it. Yeah, that's what I don't get. People think that the splits get better the higher you get up. It just doesn't seem to be the case. Some tracks it seems that way, and then others. Well, you see what's happening. Everyone's just trying to go to the front. Not listening. One off to go. We'll do, pro we'll do track position, I guess. Well, I don't think the damage I got was too much. Probably another 15 seconds or something. I'm going to glue myself to the bottom and just... Drive, I guess. Solid 8x. Pretty good 8x though, considering I haven't really damaged my car too much. I've got a nice out of the groove paint scheme. The YouTube channel. Really enjoy that channel. Uh -oh. Eric uh, helped me get back into racing about uh, a year ago. That's why I'm here. A big part of it. Got back into racing early 2020 when the pandemic started. So I have two, two and a half minutes of damage. You get that on this console and piece of shit. Not very little. Yeah, but I mean, two thirds of the field, I think, third of the field, you're dealing with, so you're all right. But yeah, his channel was uh, very uh, instrumental in helping me get back into it. Great uh, way to get news, NASCAR news and stuff. And I found a nice scheme. For out of the groove, so I'm representing it here in uh, Xfinity. Just on trading paints, I didn't make it or anything. I don't really have that kind of uh, that talent. I can't really do anything artistic in that sort of way. So, we'll be on the outside.
attention on last to first challenge upcoming maybe Let's see if I can win the lottery today ideally I'll be able to get to the uh, bottom line and just just hug it the whole way around that's all you gotta do really get a top finish maybe not win but you can finish pretty well you just hold your line and don't get into the wreck that you have no control over I used to love super speedways when I was younger playing NASCAR Thunder 2004 and all that but that was because it didn't take any uh, braking or anything I just hold the X button on my old PlayStation controller I didn't have to worry about much it felt like I was doing so good <laughs> and of course the computer cars they don't uh, well they hold their line a little bit better I don't quite see whatever that last run was but uh, about halfway through the race here we'll see how it goes I keep saying that but I mean, I feel like I'm just a passenger watching what happens rather than controlling it. Uh, keep my eyes on the leader, see when he jumps. On green. Interesting. The leader looks like he's gonna join the high side here. Trapped in the corner. Maybe the last lap, not this lap. Give him plenty of room on the bottom because I don't trust him. Are they wrecking? You're complaining. It's not just me. I don't think the Xfinity cars have like the air bubbles and stuff that the uh, cup cars do. I don't think they have quite the same aerodynamic model. So you don't have to drag your brake and stuff. <sighs> not so much help on the high line here, so we're falling back a little bit. I am not concerned. Daytona, there's a lot less bumps to deal with. It makes it a lot smoother out here compared to the older version of Daytona. They have scanned on here where it's super bumpy for the repave. Holding the gas down, holding my line. If I finish here, I'm happy. Coming out of the corner. On the high side. Not really, though. Just gonna get right back. Just gonna the corner and take the longer route around. Uh, a little bit of a check out. There's a guy kind of swerving a little bit up there. I might join the bottom line if I get an opening. I might be down on power just a tiny bit, or at least down uh, aerodynamically. It's a little bit harder to uh, get up right behind them. I would just be off the gas anyway. They're swerving so much. Can't really get too close when I can't trust them to be still. See you guys. I'm down here. <laughs> I'm 
broken guy. I wonder if I look that broken. Time to glue it. As guys shuffle around, you now you can kind of find yourself moving forward. Just as guys do cycles. This guy's pushing me, and we have no room to go in front of me. A lot of guys, you know, if you're not first, you're last kind of mentality. I don't really have that, but uh, that's how a lot of guys feel, and that's how you end up with a lot of wrecks. Check it out a little bit. Twenty-two car in seventh place. Wouldn't feel bad about that. Later on, guys, we'll get desperate and start trying to take it three wide, and then start seeing some interesting stuff. By that many, I mean wrecks, typically. Coming up to 10 laps to go. I'm sure my spotter would be eager to tell you. Hey, thanks. I don't feel like I don't have quite the power. I wouldn't be the one. I wouldn't want to be the guy leading this pack, probably. I'd be dragging him down. Got a little bit too off the track there. I want to just keep it a little lower. Got to assume the guy on the outside is punching you at all times. Get in front of your room. Don't want to be the one that uh, runs into someone, whether it's a net code or not. Give extra room, assuming you're going to get bad net code or something. If you want to be safe. That's not Kevin LePage down there. It's the exact spot it happened to. I mean, we're going to turn one. Outside lane, realizing it's not working. I'm trying to pinch now because they're worried. Uh, but he's in track position, so they're trying to take the shortest path they can. It's a little bit more nervous time. Check up. Big check up. Don't know what's happening. That's going to help that outside line. Still do one more wreck. Hopefully it's behind us. Not likely. Oh boy, we've got a lap car up here. I hope they know to uh, put it on the high line. <laughs> Check up, don't hit me from behind. He did. We're fine. Are you serious? Is he joking? gonna take the apron. It's much better to just take the high line typically. But it uh, looks like he had an opportunity. So we just get below the yellow line, so it worked. We're fine. This guy behind me is very aggressive. Probably gonna tap me from behind and wreck me. Oh I recognize the name too. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. <sighs> gonna start pushing me. You know I don't want it. gonna happen to you because I'm not perfect aerodynamically so 
It's gonna be going faster than I expect, or than he expects me. I don't know what I lost my train of thought. I'm not gonna be going as fast as he thinks I should be, so he's gonna be pushing. Just like there's pushing in front of us. We're getting uh, all out of shape. Coming up on five to go here soon. guy in front of me, usually it's a good sign that uh, you're in the right place, but uh, super speedways, I don't think it really matters too much. Plus there's lots of very closely ranked people, given that uh, we actually made it into a second split, so check my outside, see how much distance I have. Checking up, there's a guy behind me, gotta check out, looks like it's fine. I'm getting, starting to get a little bit uh, sketchy. A lot of people think they're Dale Earnhardt, so they're trying to carve through the field like a hero. I think that, uh, I think we're gone from that era. I don't think that really happens anymore. Not really. Not how they used to do it. Got some positions here. Looks like the outside line really lost some speed. It's tense, because you got to be really precise, but really not much going on, really. Just driving the same line every corner. Don't have really to think about, you know, taking a certain line through the corner. It's more like chess than racing, which, you know, it has its place. And the oak ram. Hopefully he's able to keep it down there. Uh, what's happening? Okay. And we're in it. We're in it. Yep. Oh, not as bad as I thought, though. Alright, well, I got some front damage, so I'm not feeling too good. I mean, I'm pretty fortunate not to be in it, but thankfully it looks like the entire field was in it, so. Alright, there was the one other caution we were due. So now the race is either going to end under caution, or... Let me check, uh, hopefully I get my... Hello. up too close. <sighs> See if I can do this while driving. Checking my RPMs to see how much damage. It doesn't look like it, I don't think. It looks like I'm about 2,000. It's like I'm fine. But boy, are we gonna find out. Can you even really pit here, though, like, realistically? Oh, where I had it. No, it's too close. If you haven't noticed, I like to be really high up on my dashboard. It's just what feels right to me. 
based on how close I am to my uh, computer screen and stuff. Even in my real car, <laughs> I hunch over the wheel. It's just what I'm used to, I guess. More binoculars in my in my cockpit. Feeling pretty good about getting a decent finish though, because everyone else is damaged. Yeah, essentially what I just said. Alright, so 2000. That is the RPM that we were looking for, so thankfully that tap in the front was good. So. Ryan Vargas behind us is also 2000 RPM. He seems like a really nice guy. I root for him. Uh, he races the six car that looks a lot like that in real life in, Xfinity, in the Xfinity series. I always like to root for him. It's cool seeing guys that you race with on here and racing in real life and being able to root for someone, especially if they seem like a cool person. So, Not a guy I want to make mad out here. Of course, I don't want to make anyone mad, but... Twenty-six. Yeah, they're gonna be pushing like hell, so we might just get wrecked from behind. Who knows what's gonna happen? What'd you say you're doing here? Oh, never mind. I need to stop saying who knows what's gonna happen. It's the uh, that's motto of the race. Someone on the bottom line to tie the bumper cover. That is a required piece by NASCAR to keep the speedway advanced. Hopefully he's not talking about me. We are all going to die. Good luck. I look forward to doing it with you. Back Try to get on his bumper. Give him a little bit of a push, but I don't know. Back about it. I'm not a very aggressive driver, to be honest. If that didn't come across clearly by my demeanor. You ready for this, Joseph? You just lay on that back bumper. We die, we die. It happens. Yes, sir. Get up close to him. Um, mash the gas when he starts yeah, to go. Well, I'm backing up a little bit here because I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this guy with me. Well, no shoe on the car. I didn't get a very good jump. Had a couple false starts. Plus the potential aerodynamic issues I have. And I'm now the pusher, so. Don't push me, I am the pusher. That old saying, don't push the pressure. That's uh, how you end up with Rex. I'll push this guy to a win, I don't care. Just like to survive if possible. I'll make a move on him if I have to, though. I see an opening. Not yet. Just ask that he keeps it still. Keep it still, dude. And that's how I got second. 
and another 4x. <sighs> Try not to get any more x's after the fact when people are all high adrenaline not thinking too much. Hello. Goaded pigeon. <laughs> yeah, the outside lane did it. Just think if the guy on the inside kept it a little straighter, it might have been okay, but. I'm cool. I didn't wreck until we passed the finish line, so. Let's take a look back. We'll see how that went. Oh, is that what happened? The 20 made a mess. We'll see. Take a look here. Coming into a third. Oh, <laughs> Ryanless connection right at the end there. From connection. Glad he made it through the race. Really only had this little group of seven here. He's pushing real hard. He's on the quarter panel, really. You can't do that. Oh, I see what happened. I just was gone in it, you know. Barely got second over uh, a guy on the very top. It's pretty close. What was the margin there? Um, a small number. That's what the margin was. That's uh, 18, 23, thousandths of a second. Hey. All right, second place. We'll see what the crashes looked like. Just starting from the beginning. Let's see what's here. So last to uh to second. I like it. I like that. So here's the people letting people go by. Just getting into the grass. No big deal, I guess. He might have gotten a one X from that, which is unfortunate, but didn't wreck anyone. Guy that disconnected, I guess. I don't know what that was. Oh, this is blinking guy. Hopefully we don't see this guy too often. Eventual winner of the race. He wrecked early. He really wrecked earlier. Or sh I should say, uh, eventual almost winner of the race. I don't know what I said. I said winner of the race, I think. He was leading the race. Yeah, he made it back to the front. Blinky guy. I see a pattern here. The guy in first being taken out. I remember this. Where am I? Yeah, I'm not breaking hard enough. Did a poor job. Avoiding. And then, uh, <laughs> this is when Ryan was down there. Just a little dink. Didn't really do anything. Guess I should have been looking for him. Now it's hard to control the car whenever you're down there in the grass. I don't know what's showing me right now. I was just leaving the pits. The restart. Might have gotten a big push here, and that's what's registering. Yeah. Big thunk. More restart contact. It looks like 23 might have some damage and is holding up the outside line. Let's get a little wider view, since we're all stacked up right now. There's me. Just doing me things. Oh, and then they wrecked. That's right. Well, half wrecked. Thankfully, I, uh... Didn't get all caught up behind. Guy passing below the yellow line. Coming up and destroying someone. Not sure what the game plan was there. Did uh did I avoid that one completely? I don't remember exactly how that one went for, for me. So coming in. He wrecked high, just had to dive all yeah, I got tapped by him, but I was able to save it. I feel pretty good about my ability to keep the car straight, but I also got kind of lucky where I was getting hit by cars. If you just get hit in the wrong spot, it doesn't matter what you do. Interesting method of turning around there, climbing the hill. Blinky guy, blinky guy. Leaving the pits. guy that doesn't exist apparently 
And then this happened behind us. Did this not cause a caution? I don't remember. Yeah, it didn't cause a caution. I don't think. Because uh, we're still going here. Blinky guy. You know the drill. There's a 13 kind of running behind me. Running out of back of me. I don't think that's what we're supposed to be looking at right now, though. I think it wants us to look at the uh, number 14. I don't think really anything happened, though. Just a couple of fenders being bumped. Yeah, that's when that happened. Guy couldn't keep it straight. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get more damage. I'm surprised I didn't get more damage with uh, hitting the front like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a closer look at this one. So, he jumps from the high lane to the bottom lane on a guy who has a big run. But then, uh, leader follows, follows him in a bit of a block. That's what causes this checkup. And the one kind of just stays in it doesn't really let him get back he didn't cut him a break and then this happens so that I kind of got unlucky that he bounced back like that but at the same time lucky to survive it all or no he didn't bounce back I got hit by the 14 I thought it was the six that bounced back and got me I was just hitting my break and kind of just hoping things happen this is the lottery part I was talking about. This is what I see. Guy running in. I think I'm going to get hit by him. I think this guy comes out of nowhere. I'm just... You know, you can slam on the brakes and get hit by someone else. So you kind of just take a guess how fast you need to be going. Very lucky that the car wasn't more broken. It easily could have been. This is part of that wreck happening or no that was that uh that was the last lap i think yeah because that was green white check good time and all that all right so that's that's pretty much it that's how to get second in a daytona race i guess doesn't really matter too much where you start doesn't really matter <laughs> too much about track position until you get decently through the race kind of just have to be in the right place at the right time you can lead the race the majority of the time and still get wrecked on the final corner. You can hang back and still have the people right in front of you wreck. So, very fortunate to get a, a good finish. Because we uh, survived the, the final trial, which was the run to the, to the checkered. Which was right here. One final look. Never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. That wasn't the end of the race. Can you tell I'm really good at making YouTube videos? This was the run to the checkered. made it to the line without wrecking that's uh pretty rare oh, this is what we got all right thanks for watching sorry for complaining so much but uh that's super speedway racing just being grumpy